Dear partners, greetings of the day. Uh, delighted to welcome today you on our webinar um, from Roa Maldives. And uh, today um, it's dedicated to the first art resort in Maldives, Oaga Art Resort Maldives. And um, I'm delighted to introduce Yuri Span. Yuri Span is sales manager from Oaga. And today he will, in details, um, will talk and explain everything about this interesting property. It's really unique and the design, as you saw from the video, is also quite unique um, with all the perks and all the interesting um, vibes of Maldives uh, and interesting uh, side of Maldives. It's, everything is available there. Um, the only touch that you will feel there, it will be art in every small details and there you can learn um, culture of Maldives, so it's really interesting product with very affordable prices for your clients and to those who want to feel to, to feel um, authentic cultural uh, experience in Maldives, I think it's a very good choice. So Rishvan, uh, please uh, join us, let me introduce you, <laughs> the guide of today's, of the, of today's webinar. And uh, while we are waiting for Rishvan, uh, please put uh, pluses in the chat if you can hear me good and see me good. Rishvan, you can go live. Thank you, Branislava. I see that we have um, audience, uh, our <laughs> stable one, partners are always visiting our webinars. Hi, Rishwan. Thank you for finding time for us today uh, to tell about Oaga Art Resort. I was really looking forward for this webinar because once uh, the announcement about this property was done in Maldives, I was really looking forward uh, to it because the concept was quite unique and interesting. Thank you, Martha. You can see me good or hear me good. It's nice. So, Rishwan, a few words of, uh, from you, and we will continue with a small presentation of Maldives. Hi, um, thank you all for joining. Um, so, uh, it's lovely to see you all here, and we are very excited to present uh, the Oga Art Resort, the first art resort in the Maldives, with its uh, uh, local roots and art-inspired um, uh, resort that we have uh, built over these few years. So um, I'll just uh, let uh, the introduction go ahead and then I'll just show you a little bit in detail what we have uh, special with us. Yeah, yeah. and also Rishvan, we will do a, a live from the room and we'll show you beach so you will see how beautiful the property is. And uh, let's just continue with a few words. I have some, uh, few news from the Maldives destination to share with you. Um, first one is like, um, you know, that uh, Maldives was always um, the destination that was dominated either of uh, Russian tourists or Indian tourists or Chinese tourists, right? So these three nationalities was always in the top five arrivals to the destination. And last year, uh, the first one almost through all the year was Russians and was followed by Indians. So this year, actually, uh, I think a lot of changes will come because um, one of the biggest airlines will start to fly um, this spring uh, from China to Maldives. It's called Xiamen Air, Air Set. And it is actually the airlines with a direct flight from the Beijing. And uh, it just added to the uh, some Chinese flights that is we having right now. So really the volume of uh, tourists Chinese tourists will arise, I think, very much. And maybe even this year, who knows, the second place after Russia, maybe it will be even China, right? Or even maybe China will dominate and it will be on the first place. While I'm, why I'm always highlighting this news to you, because um, actually it's very important to do bookings in advance, because if China will start to dominate the market, the availability slightly start to grow, you know, and we will start to experience this moment when the uh, clients for the last minute bookings, um, uh, the, some rooms or some uh, resorts will not be available. So it's very important to know um, the situation of arrivals and which nationalities are coming to Maldives. 
And uh, actually, the, the first news following with another one, because Maldives government is moving uh, forward, because after um, COVID, uh, China was closed for a very, very long time. And um, now it's uh, last year, it reopened their, uh, their borders. And uh, for example, in 2022, uh, it was like in total 172,000 uh, of Chinese, but the government already signed some agreements with China and they're supposed to increase the arrivals to Maldives from China like for 40 percent, uh, 40 percentage of major tourism push. So you would understand that uh, the country will make a lot of effort to bring Chinese uh, tourists to the market and it will actually influence the availability and everything. So for the new year, for autumn holidays, uh, for February, for example, when they will have Chinese New Year, right? Um, you need to book in advance to uh, block the spot for your tourists. So this is like an important moment to highlight for you. And um, here we go with the statistics, my favorite one. Uh, right now on the first place is Russia, then it's followed by Italy, then it's India. China so far, we can see that it's only on the one, two, three, four, five, on the sixth place. Uh, but uh, it will slowly climb up. I believe really that it will be in the top five and maybe soon even on the first one. And what makes me really happy is that Romania, congratulations, finally from our market, from Eastern Europe, I see the country on the top 10 and it's Romania. So congratulations to Romania. And um, hello, Christoph, so nice to see you. And no worries, we just started and you didn't miss anything yet. And uh, yeah, so this is how the top 10 markets right now looks like. Um, and But it will change because this is a new statistics. It's counting from 1st of January to 13th of January. So it will be changing, I think, every two weeks. Uh, even every day it's changing. Yeah. So, dear partners, if you have any kind of questions about the destinations, please, uh, please put it in the chat and uh, we will reply it uh, after the presentation. And I'm just passing the word to Rishpan and he will continue with his presentation of uh, uh, Oaga Art Resort, the first art resort in Maldives. And see you in a bit. Uh, please enjoy. In the end of the webinar, we will have a nice surprise for you too. So, see you later. Rishvan, everything for you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, hello again, everyone. My name is Rishvan. I'm the sales manager at Olga, and it's a pleasure to present the first art resort, which is Olga Art Resort in the Maldives, to all of you. So. Um, Olga is a Maldivian story that we are proud to uh, be presenting today. Aleo, Aleo, everyone. So it's Aleo, basically in simple terms, means uh, a celebratory um, exception of uh, uh, expressing the happiness, welcoming someone, or celebrating a moment. So Aleo is our way of saying uh, hello or, uh, you know, celebrating and welcoming. So um, just a small uh, brief um, about the Maldives hospitality, basically. Maldivians has for centuries um, known to have uh, open hearts for the guests and offering the best of the house to the visiting guests. Uh, this has been going on for centuries. And you know we'll be offering the best of chairs, whatever the the best we have in the homes were offered, you know from so long as uh, you know Maldivians has been. Considering the twenty seven weather patterns adopted through the centuries of old wisdom, the indigenous Nake calendar at Oga Art Resort aims to provide activities for guests throughout the monsoons, just in, in short to make sure that we have an active resort where we offer different activities and a lively um, lifestyle living in the resort environment. So we are quite close to Mali. 
which is, I think, one of the key points uh, that you don't have to take a long flight um, to get to the resort. So the resort is situated uh, 51 kilometers from the International uh, Airport, Vedana International Airport, which means you will be able to reach the resort by 45 minutes of uh, speedboat transfer. And being closed means uh, we will be able to pick you up and arrange transfers by speedboat any time of the day, whichever flight the guests may arrive. And here you can see the island map of our beautiful small um, art resort of Orga, where you see a uh, nice beach around. It's, it's a small island, just perfect to walk around the beach and you know just feeling that village life at Oga Art Resort we wanted to also have an island resort where we offer the authentic Maldivian experience as we Maldivians do still remember a little bit from uh, when we were younger uh, we will see a lively island where you know the homes are open you can you know see the neighbors everyone speaks to everyone's small community you see little chickens going with their chickpeas and you know you see um cats around and it's 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 very lively which is not how the resorts has been known in the maldives so we thought we would bring that back, the village life, the known lively village life, and also intertwine it with artistic roots inspired from art and also uh, connected to the stories that we have been told, the folk stories or tales that we have um, been telling to, you know, our kids that come from, you know, ancient, our ancestors, basically. Um, so just just quickly to go through um, the the categories that we have, starting with the the standard category, which is Veoge Gallery Pool Villa. So this is more of um, I would say a garden villa, just to make it simplify. But um, this is a mystical gateway curated on art gallery that recalls magic of Khalid and Siti's legend. So Khalid and Siti's legend is again, it's a folk tale about um, two lovers. Um, so Siti was uh, a wealth, from a wealthy family uh, connected to the royal court. Uh, Khalid was a fisherman and how they, uh, they mischievingly uh, you know, used to meet. So uh, it, the, the greenery around is to, to to also give that privacy and also how it was during that time in the, in the village, island village. And also the rooms are just perfect for the couples. Um, and the maximum occupancy has, we have kept as two adults. And these rooms are 56 square meters and we have total 15 units. And um, the front of the villa has uh, the mirror. So it reflects all the trees and plants that's in front. So it doesn't seem like, you know, it's like you again see, you know, all the trees there. So it's, it's really, really nice, um, uh, you know, entrance for, for a villa. <clears throat> and additionally, we take pride in uh, collaborating with local artists. So we have uh, one of our main highlight uh, in the resort and our concept to be collaborating with the local artists and uh, you know giving them a platform through our resort so um we call it a gallery because every veoge gallery pool villa has on its headboard um different art pieces from the local artists as you can see from here on the left side. So these are all unique art pieces from the local artists uh, on the collaboration. And every night a guest stays, we will also be um, uh, giving a dollar from, uh, that, from that room to the artist. Every night a guest stays in this village just to, um, you know, 
encourage the artists. And at the back of the villa, we have a pool, but this is not a private pool. It, it is uh, more like a plunge pool. And inside the room, we have a nice uh, king size bed. On the side, we have a vinyl for which uh, we provide uh, um, from the Sobi bar, they can grab whatever music they prefer, and then they can also play themselves in the Veoge Gallery Villa. And this pool actually connects to uh, Sobi bar. All the 15 Veoge Villas has a private area of the pool, but then again, it all goes and uh, through a uh, lazy pool, it connects to the Sobi bar. And at Sobi bar, we is the place where we usually do beer or gin testing. Next up is Haruga Beach Villa, the villa that I am currently um, uh, in uh, to uh, present, and hopefully I'll be uh, sharing with you a live of what the villa looks like. So these are 20 units of total uh, inventory and uh, 156 square meters. We can accommodate um, two adults and two children. And we may also time to time accommodate two adults and three children, depending on the age and the request basis. We are flexible, just wants to highlight that because I think from your market, um, nowadays the families usually have two or three kids in usual traveling pattern. So this uh, Haruge design is also inspiration. Haruge basically is the word we used to call for the beach houses that uh, we used to have in the early times. The beach houses where we also did uh, the boating, so boat houses, boat constructions and everything were also done in the similar pattern of, uh, of the Haruge houses in the ancient times. So we took that design and has, uh, uh, you know, made it the main structure, giving it a local um, hint. And also we have put the uh, two Jolifati instead of the usual chairs that you find. Jolifati is also one of the very local things still in every island you will find uh, in front of the villas, uh, in front of the rooms or houses, just to, uh, you know, sit lazy or, you know, lay down and have a drink or talk to the neighbors or, you know, loved ones. And also the pool you see in the Haruge, or in all of uh, almost all of our um, pictures, is the circular pool. So this circular pool also has a story. This is inspired from Vevu. Vevu used to be the bathing um, bathing pools that used to be in the royal houses or royal courts in the ancient time of the Maldives, because Maldives used to be uh, a kingdom in in, in the early times. So. In the royal uh, houses, they used to have this circular uh, vevu. So we have inspired from that. And uh, again, we also include a little bit of story to every villa. So just a few more pictures just to show you the bathroom and the outdoor area, which I'll be, I think, uh, showing walking uh, through the room later on. And all these artworks that you see on the headboard is different in each room. It is hand painted by local artists. And also the room comes with the sofa bed. We can also add one more extra bed. And the bathroom is also inspired from the, the local um, uh, bathrooms that we previously used to have, the open bathrooms with a lot of uh, plants, mainly uh, banana trees and uh, little palms. Next up is Bordo Haruge. Bordo basically is, is the word we use for a big. So, in structure, it's almost the same. It's just that we have a little bit bigger, the standard 
um, the private pool in a circular uh, fashion. And these ones actually have open ocean view in all of the Bodoharuge villas, which offers a romantic escape, um, you know, and direct access to the sea as well. And the mural that you see on the on the side wall is also different in all the villas of Bordoharuge. Every uh, room tells a different story and the mural drawing is a reflection of the stories that every room tells. And also the colorful bathroom that you see, all these uh, murals also on the wall, the colorful, like it can be a chicken, it can be a hen, it could be a cat. So from the bathroom, these ones reflect the usual animals or, you know, the birds that we have in the Maldivian islands, which you hear, like you can hear a, a, a hen, you can hear a cat meowing. So it's a reflection of the environment again, but in a more vibrant artistic way. And the, the design of the villas also provides that extra space with the high ceilings. It gives you um, the feeling that the area is big and, you know, it's, it's easier uh, for the eye and, you know, you feel that you are in a bigger space as well. All right, so Moving on, we have the Ordi Water Villas. So these were the, the latest additions to our inventory. So we have total 10 units. Out of uh, eight units are Ordi Water Villas and two units we have recently converted to family um, Ordi Water Villas with private pool and slide. All the Ordi Water Villas has a slide uh, and also a quite spacious big pool. We can also accommodate two adults and two children in the Audi Water Villas. And in family villas, the two units that we have are currently available only on request basis until November. And this one has um, a kid's room with bunk beds. So the standard would be with uh, two adults, two children. So we can also add one more um, extra bed. So uh, three children we can also accommodate in the family two units. And Odi is actually the word we use for um, Moldavian boats. So it used to be the, the bigger uh, donies that where they used to have um, the sleeping spaces, the rooms. So we are inspired from those big uh, boats from the early days. And it's really nicely um, decorated as well. From outside, it's all uh, bright and white. And inside is like the traditional dark, um, dark black or you know brownish that we used to have in these boats already. As you can see from here. So you see, um, again on the wall we have different art pieces, all unique in its uh, own ways, and also are from local artists. And outdoor deck, quite spacious very private as well and then has the slide and just as you can see from here uh, how spacious the room actually is and then over here we have on the right side the pool it also has a lounge area now this is the family villa where we have converted two units that one has a bunk bed and the other has the king um, bed. Now moving on to the FNB outlets. Um, so we are offering the greatest all-inclusive as we go by, a premium all-inclusive island offering array of different delights in uh, four different venues. Local and international cuisine is uh, 
made to perfection for the requirements of the guests. And our idea of um, food especially has been to cater more personalized because this is a small property with only a total of 60 villas where we can actually give that personalized service as per the preference of the guests as well. So our main restaurant, Kakada, uh, it's an area of bustling food carts. So basically it is like a food cart that has different sections, one oriental, one grill, one seafood, um, and one midnight. Um, it's things like that. So it's separated. And we also have different options, like for, for lunch, it could be uh, from different. So we keep the salad area separately and a small mini buffet sort of for salad and fruits. Everything else, especially for mains, we keep it on live cooking from the carts and we give that options uh, up to three, three options from three to four options in different carts for mains they can choose for every meal time be it you know lunch and dinner and we also do dinner theme nights like Maldivian uh, it could be Arabic uh, you know it could be all around the world international cuisine so we try to uh, twist it a little bit so that it doesn't become too um, you know too often the same and also we cater to all different requirements, dietary requirements. Uh, you know, our chefs will be out there just to make sure that we understand the requirement and then we cater accordingly. So Karkad is um, the main restaurant. The, the next restaurant, La Fuddan, is Italian specialty restaurant. It's not strictly Italian, it's Italian and Maldivian fusion. And Lafudan is also interconnected to Karkada. It's all in the same area on the, on the land. And then we have Babadige. Babadige is on the other side of Lafudan again. It is more of a grill, um, offering the different uh, grill food items. And then we have our main Baraba, which is the most happening place uh, on the island, where we have... Uh, a lot of um, uh, entertainment options as well. And then we have Sobiba for beer and uh, gin, mostly it will be served. We also do uh, beer or gin testing. And we have a very special theatrical dining uh, space we call Samasa. This is Samasa is not included in all inclusive. This is a very special uh, only on request. So we do this theatrical dining where we usually do like the very well known Maldivian uh, stories, love stories like um, like the Maldivian version of Romeo and Juliet, so the stories that we have. And Tashibari is our in villa dining. So we have also twisted a little bit, making it a little more interesting. And one Tashibari or one in villa dining is included for every villa who are booked on all inclusive ones. And then we have Dankada, which is a midnight cart, is the midnight cart of the Kakada is called Dankada, which will be open uh, throughout the midnight if any guest uh, would like to order something during you know the midnight time. Malafang is actually the staff area or we call it Rabbehin restaurant. Our concept is more of an open community. So, you know, even if a guest would like to, uh, you know, have a look and have a chat, you know, try the food that we have, they can. Uh, same way, we also have the, the staff uh, able to, you know, have a drink and talk to the guests at the main bar as well in the evening. And Jam Cafe is a sweet, um, a sweet cafe mostly, where we also do our daily high tea from uh, 4 to 5 p.m. And it's also included in the all inclusive. And then we have Hoba Spa, Oga's very own holistic wellness brand, which offers a sense of Maldivian healing traditions passed down from generations and 
is uh, reimagined completely to cater to the modern day spa experience. So this is highly inspired from uh, the Moldavian treatments and uh, local medicines that has been there uh, for centuries and generations. So we have total four treatment rooms, one outdoor uh, pod, and we also have uh, sweat lodge, Vevu pool, which is um, hot water, Vevu pool, and treatments. We have different base for she therapies, Hoba Moon, Hoba Aroma, um, and also Sandu therapies, Hoba Dula Heoen. And also we have some for the kids as well. And a uh, few other experiences that also comes with all inclusive is Floatstagram. Floatstagram is uh, basically the um, floating breakfast or floating lunch, depending on the guest's uh, preference, is also included one uh, Floatstagram as per the all inclusive and also learn a dish or the cooking class. Um, one cooking class is also included in, as part of the all inclusive we have. And we have previously uh, mentioned a little bit about um, Samasa theatrical dining. It's 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 a really exclusive, special experience. And then we have Cocktail Apprentice, which is um, cocktail class. And then we have Take Notes. Take Notes is music class. We do guitar. We do local. Um, Beru, Bodu Beru, uh, which is the local cultural drum. And also free flow art class. These three items are also included um, to do once uh, as part of all inclusive. And then we have morning and evening rituals as part of all inclusive as well. But you, you always have, the guests always have to book um, uh, just to make sure that, you know, we, the, the team know that they, so that they can expect the guest and cater smoothly. So we have Malimis. Uh, our, so Malimis is the Divehi word for navigator. So we have uh, Malimis to navigate the guests through uh, their journey during their stay. And we have water, water and uh, diving center, water sports. Um, And uh, the dive center is also party certified. So we do different certification programs. And a few more activities. We have a uh, calisthenics gym, outdoor gym, and archery, volleyball on the beach, badminton, dodgeball, just to, just to have a, a nice uh, open area to spend the day and have fun with, you know, the, the families, and we also have a kids club, which we call Fiong Club. So Fiong is basically the the baby chickens or chicks. It offers a wide array of different activities on schedule. And we also uh, like to keep it more um, entertaining and also educational. And one of the unique things about Oga is that we are very big on entertainment and vibe. We have a vibe department itself who will be uh, taking care of um, making sure that there are, you know, uh, activities on, on entertainment side of things, such as, you know, we will have live music, um, acoustic uh, guitar and the singer on breakfast or lunch, it could be like that also. And we also have live bands that plays uh, some nights. Some nights we have um, movie nights. Some nights we have karaoke at the Raba. Some nights we have DJ. Some nights we have DJ pool parties as well. So we, we have the vibe department making sure that the island is lively and there are a um, lot of entertainment activities around. Uh, and also we have dance lab, dance classes. One dance class is also um, included in part of All Inclusive. This also comes from the vibe department. And we also do beach bonfire one uh, once a week. So we uh, nicely set up a bonfire and then we will have 
one of um, you know live performers performing, and it'll be nicely set on the beach with uh, you know lazy bean bags and chairs and just you know nice drinks to enjoy with the loved one, as you can see from the picture here. And Swasti Art uh, and Retail Gallery is is our uh, retail shop where we have 100% Maldivian owned brands only within, uh, you know, your reach whenever you are in uh, Olga. So just to summarize a few things that we are unique to known for. Uh, one is the largest art collection in the Maldives. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we have uh, the largest art collection in the Maldives, including the largest mural pool, our uh, main pool bar, uh, at the bar, also which is pool bar, um, is actually hand painted. So it's the largest mural pool in the world and also 105 plus rooms. Uh, hand painted murals, 150 plus art pieces in all the gallery villas, and so much more. And um, it is 100% Maldivian owned uh, brand and property uh, with a 99% Maldivian management team, a community with 70% locals, uh, you know, from which 24% are female at the moment. And Hoba Spa is a uniquely uh, a Maldivian. Um, uh, spa, I would say, because all the treatments uh, are inspired from the local, um, you know, cultural uh, treatments that we have had for generations, and also 100% local um, retail boutique that we just uh, mentioned earlier, an open community where, you know, we let uh, our Ravahing also to interact with the guests so they, are, they, they feel like they are in a local island village. And uh, the, the, the kids club for kids with STEM-based kids activities and a petting zoo. We also have a small petting zoo where we have some goats, um, uh, rabbits, ducks, and some chicken, as we mentioned earlier. And uh, just to highlight Sobiba, Sobiba is uh, a small bar where we'll be serving artisanal beers and gin that are perfectly complemented by music of your choice played from vintage record player. The, so this is where they can also uh, get their vintage record to play in the Vayoga Gallery, whoever is staying in the gallery pool villas. And we also have, we are the first one to have a recording studio in the result. And next to the all-inclusive. So we go by the greatest all-inclusive. Just to uh, you know, highlight. So you can break, you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Kaka the old La Fuden, La Fuden, the Italian and Maldivian fusion. Um, it's five street carts offering global selections, and also we will be doing personalization on top of that. Unlimited selection of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages from the uh, all-inclusive menu at Raba, and also high tea daily in the evening from JM Cafe, 4 to 5 p.m. And every guest is entitled for one tashibari or in villa dining during their stay, one floatstagram or floating breakfast or floating lunch during their stay, one beer or gin testing session uh, at Sobi Bar during the stay. And also they will get a $50 credit towards uh, one theoretical dining experience and one cooking class or learner dish one cocktail apprentice or cocktail class and minibar is included as part of the all-inclusive and is replenished once daily and it consists of canned beers soft drinks packed juices and uh, wine bottles and also we have three excursions included for all the guests who are staying in all include uh, our own all-inclusive package which is uh, one sunset cruise, one sunset fishing, and one guided house trip snorkeling. And also pedal boarding or kayaking for 30 minutes is included per day. Complimentary beginner snorkeling lessons in the lagoon, complimentary snorkeling equipment during the stay, 20 minutes guided motorized water sports, jet ski or fun tube riding, 
uh, also a complimentary one scuba dive in the house reef, but only applicable for already certified divers. From wellness, we have the daily um, Dulahe classes or Hindamilung and Bandu, one time Dulahe wellness experience uh, around Muadu or Waburu, and complimentary morning and evening rituals. From art side of experiences, we also offer on complimentary in the all inclusive one time free flow art session, which is the art class that we have daily from 10 to 11 a.m. One take note or music class or dance lab. And uh, apart from that, we also have complimentary five pieces of laundry per villa per day. Complimentary use of visually and archery and all other um, uh, the activities that we have. All right, so that's in short what we have at the Olga Art Resort. Uh, thank you, Rishpan. And before we will proceed with the live, let's we'll just reply to all the questions about the property. So, yes. dear partners, if you have any questions about the resort, please write it in the chat. And thank you, uh, Christoph. Um, for sure, I will send you a presentation after the webinar, and all the of the participants will receive records of this webinar together with the presentation, video, and all the information about Aga Resort. So, no worries. And uh, yeah, any questions? Actually, I have one question. My question while please. we are talking about Go this. ahead. Uh, about the reef, can you please tell how close is to the island? Is it rich with the marine life? And what about the uh, masks and fins? Are they available like uh, free of charge for the guests? Yes, masks and fins and the snorkeling gear is available uh, on complimentary basis for all the guests. And also, uh, from the rubber side of the island is the easiest to um, start the snorkeling. And also, on, I will just try to find the island map so I can explain it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the first thing uh, I did was to uh, swim a little bit and snorkel and see the, the house reef. So house reef is uh, very lively on, 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 there are certain points where it is more lively and also, um, they had started the coral propagation and, um, you know, coral uh, planting uh, four or five years before the resort was open. Okay. So this nice. has been going on. So this has been helping us as well. Uh, so now there are more corals than it used to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a really nice beach area. So this is Raba. This is the main area. This is Raba. This is the. Um, can you please show pool? it with the pointer because we can't see it. Um, yeah, now we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the Raba, the main bar. Mm -hmm. This okay. is the main pool, and mm -hmm. um, over here, this is the main restaurant. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so when you go from here, this is where we usually go for snorkel. This okay. is. This is very smooth, no rocks at all. It's smooth, nice uh, entrance to the to the lagoon. From here you go, and like within five minutes you will be uh, able to reach the house reef. It's very close. Okay. And then you go over here, and mm -hmm. what's the tip is the best area as of now. There's a lot of fish um, activity around this area as well. Okay. Nice. This is this area is a little wild because this is. Uh, very close to the main ocean, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I but here also there are certain points like this area is nice, but it's very deep. So mm -hmm. for very, um, you know, beginner level snorkelers, they mm -hmm. may not be able to see much on this area because this is very um, deep. Mm -hmm. Most of the, the, the corals that we have in that area is very deep, but we have few areas, points where we have, but this area is like everyone can yes. you know easily go it and the entrance is not like it's very easy you can just walk a little bit and then you know nice. so it's 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 really smooth uh, nice entrance 
Your resort really looks very unique and the uh, design and activities that you have, it's really interesting. And what is the most important, uh, dear partners, that the rates for this property is really affordable and uh, it's not like super expensive. So it's exactly fit um, the middle range of um, clients. If you have if you have any clients who visited Maldives often and already like searching for something unusual in the destination, right? That I think that Oaga is a really right place to come and to enjoy. So Rishman, let's just uh, switch for another your account, right? You want to show us live a little bit? Yes, let me let me just uh, show yeah. a little bit. You can turn off then your presentation and uh, your uh, video and just go with another account to show us around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super. So, dear partners, um, if you have any questions, just write in the chat and then Rishwan will come back to it uh, after um, live. And after live, also, we will uh, prepare to you a small surprise. So, we'll announce it in the end of the webinar. All right. I'll just leave the, the presentation. I'll skip to the live stream. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's wait for the live. Cool. All right. Yes, we can <laughs> see you. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, we can see you. Please continue. All right. So, um, this is uh, Bordo Haruge, uh, sorry, this is Haruge Beach Villa with pool. So, I'll just uh, show you the bedroom. I hope you can see clearly. <laughs> so, this has very high ceilings, as I mentioned earlier. And these art pieces that you see on the headboard, these are different and unique in all the villas. So, none of the villas have the same painting. And over here, we have a sofa bed. And outside, we have the jolly for the seating area. Rishwan, you can continue with the video because I will turn off myself so we can see it on the full screen, okay? But we can see it so you can speak freely. Okay, okay. Right, so here we have the Jolly Fatty and then we have the pool. Again, as I mentioned, this is circular because it's inspired from the Vevu that we traditionally used to have. And... Uh, here we have, and it's very private, as you can see. The neighbors next door cannot see you. And these villas, the Haruge Beach Villas, has a nice uh, little pathwork. And there you have your own sun loungers. This is in all the Haruge Beach Villas. On this side, we have the water villas. Nice beach, nice entrance, as you can see. Very smooth, sandy entrance. And over there is the main area. So uh, we also uh, be setting the the dinner on the beach, usually, which we, we are doing today also. Time to time, we do that special dining for all the guests on the beach. Usually once a week if the weather is nice. And with high ceilings, this nice structure, as I mentioned, was inspired from the old beach houses we used to have. And there's a one beanbag just for relaxing and more seating space also, and a full-size mirror. And this is where we have the closet, also quite spacious. It's very easy to handle as well. You can just pull it and then you can just let go. 
and we have minibar over here. So these are upcycled or recycled uh, materials that we use. This is part of our sustainable goals. We also bottle our own water. And minibar, as I mentioned, is also included and is part of all inclusive. And then we have the bathroom. So this room has a nice cat, very colorful. As I mentioned, usually we have a cat or a, a hen, uh, a chicken, because you will usually hear these things, um, you know, shouting in, in a normal island. So we inspired from that and we have used that in a more colorful way. So it's, it's really artistic. Also, the basins, as you can see, are quite artistic. The side mirrors. And we have toilet over here in the corner. There's a nice view of these trees. And then you have outdoor bath. It's, it's giving the privacy and also shade from all these trees around. All nice flower plots that you see in all the Maldivian islands. And also there's one more full, uh, full length mirror also here in the bathroom. And I just want to also show you a little bit of the vegetation we have because we have been open only one year and it's also a new resort. So usually there is a question about how the vegetation is. I just want to show that we give real importance for the vegetation. As you can see, it's all trees and it gives the shade even the hottest time of the afternoon. So it's, it's all green and we try to keep it that way. And over here, just quickly work. So this is Sobi Bar. And this is one of the Weoge art gallery that we mentioned earlier would be here. So this is Sobi Bar. So that pool over there is connected from a small lane to all the Weoge villas. So that's basically how it looks in one of the Haruge villas. It all has the shade as well, so it can be closed. The curtain can be also closed. That looks quite unique <laughs> and uh, really interesting. Really, a uh, very unique resort. And uh, I think that you have already a lot of guests, right? What is the occupancy right now in Noaga? Sorry? What is the occupancy right now in Oaga? So um, we are at 70%. At 70%, not bad, uh, not bad. And uh, okay, dear partners, any questions, please put in the chat for, um, for Rishvan. And I'm delighted to announce uh, a special added value that uh, Rishvan shared with us for our partners for Roa Maldives. It's uh, for the first five bookings that is coming after this webinar uh, with this flyer that will be sent to the, all the participants. Uh, your clients will receive 30 minutes spa massage once per stay. So after a long, long trip to the Maldives, they can come to Aga and just have some very nice massage on arrival or the next day just to relax a little bit and then uh, to have a really interesting and uh, a really fun stay in Oaga Maldives. Okay, um, Luca, thank you for the question. Um, when is the best time to travel? So, Rishvan, what do you think? When is the best time to travel to Oaga? <laughs> that is the most tricky question to ask. Uh, That's to why I asked it you. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to tell nowadays, but I think, it, you know, now, it's suggested to travel anytime around, but I think it is a little bit more um, better during during the end of January towards, a, I think mid-May last year was also really nice. And now this goes even to the traditionally non-monsoon periods like June, July, like last year, mm -hmm. uh, June, July, August was nice, 
but then again from august it rained a little bit and then october was really hot again and then it rained a little so it's hard to tell you know it's it's maldives is throughout the year but you can you know expect the rain any time but the good thing is it doesn't rain too long um yeah that, that i think that's the main point that we need to highlight yeah yeah this is what i wanted also to to support you uh, on this answer that actually maldives this is a destination of the whole year and the difference is like if you travel in summer the prices will be much much more cheaper than in winter so you can enjoy even more affordable stay let's say it in the properties and on the winter but um, um, of course there is a monsoon times but uh, this global climate change uh, that is coming all through the whole world is also touches Maldives a lot and right now even in winter when it's supposed to be a dry season without much raining so even without rains right now you can you can expect rain even in January right Rishvan just yes, recently that's was right. a big collapse of the uh, <laughs> of the uh, arrivals and departures because it was a big storm so it's weather and uh, with the climate change unfortunately there is no a dry season 100 percent so it depends on the luck of the clients like when you arrive is it will be good weather or not but as mentioned Rishvan it's not like will be uh, for the whole week raining or for two weeks raining no it's like sometimes the rain are in the night and sometimes it's very short like it can be pouring heavily and then in 30 minutes it will be sunny and it will be just giving you some freshness from the rain so it's a really nice place to visit uh, whole through the year. Yeah. Okay, uh, Rishwan, it was such a lovely presentation and uh, video. I really enjoyed. Hope our partners also enjoyed. It was really knowledgeable. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing all the information. And I want to thank you, dear partners, that you found time to join us today. I know it's a season and you have a lot of requests. Uh, so don't forget about us. Don't forget about Maldives. Right now, we already started to receive requests for the Easter, for, uh, for March as well, for May. So please do not hesitate to contact us. As I mentioned, the record of the webinar and all the details about OAGA you will receive is our follow-up email. So thank you so much. I will just play with you some videos so you will enjoy more uh, the OAGA resort. And yeah, see you on our next webinars.